Good morning and welcome to our series on this on Christmas Day. And may I wish you a very happy Christmas, whatever you are doing this day with whomever you are able to be with. As we begin our service, I invite you to pray. Lord Jesus Christ, your birth at Bethlehem draws us to kneel in wonder at heaven touching earth. Accept our heartfelt praise as we worship you, our Saviour and eternal God. Amen. And we say our confession together. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you and against our neighbour in thought and word and deed, through negligence, through weakness, through our own deliberate fault. We are truly sorry and repent of all our sins for the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us. Forgive us all that is past and grant that we may serve you in newness of life, to the glory of God the Father. Amen. Almighty God, who forgives so who truly repent, have mercy upon you, pardon, and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in life eternal, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And we join together and say the words of the Gloria. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Our reading this morning is taken from Luke's Gospel, chapter 2. And Mary gave birth to her firstborn, son and wrapped him in bands of cloth and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn in that region there were shepherds living in the fields keeping watch of their flock by night then the angel of the lord stood before them and the glory of the lord shone around them and they were terrified but the angel said to them do not be afraid. See, I am bringing you good news of great joy. To you is born this day in the city of David a Saviour, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of a heavenly host praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace among those whom he favours. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go now to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph, lying in the manger. So Christmas has arrived. Hopefully the stockings were filled and everyone is contemplating deeply on the theological existential understanding of the cataclysmic galactic event of all time. Yes, I got a thesaurus for Christmas and I mean the birth of Jesus Christ. Well, it isn't exactly the Christmas we may have been used to, but maybe we can do something to change that. Why don't you sing a carol this morning in your own home? I know it feels a bit strange, but find five minutes 
light a candle and sing your favourite, even if you only manage just the first verse. Not only does singing make you feel better, but knowing that you have welcomed Christmas into your home by lighting a candle is an awesome feeling. Those with children or grandchildren will know that the elf has gone back to the North Pole today and that his mischief has been returned with him. I wonder sometimes if Christmas isn't a little mischief. Mischief from God. He sent his son to be in our world as a human boy to cheat the rules that he had already made. He knew what was going to happen to Jesus as a man, but saw no other way to bring us, his children, back into his flock. He could have just abandoned us there and then before the Christmas story. He made us, we stuffed up. We didn't see that we were acting in a wrong way. Yet this is his last ditch attempt to save us, his lost people. Sometimes the ideas that we need to have in order to spread the message of Christmas, of the birth of God's Son, need to be more radical than we have had in the past. On Sunday I said how much we were missing singing in church. With the carol service and all the other things we had planned. There are so many things we have missed this past year. And I believe I've begun to appreciate more the times of prayer, Bible reading, and indeed the explanation of our reading that we have had in our services, both in our church and online. I have appreciated the music that the choir have brought to us, so maybe in a year where we have not been free, as we celebrate, celebrate the time that God made us free through the birth of Jesus, then we need to appreciate what we have, if we can. Celebrate who we are as children of God. Find new ways to tell others about the message of God's love. Maybe with a bit of mischief. After all, a little bit of mischief can help to break the ice and can, when controlled, be a little bit of fun too. Let us pray. Christ, born in a stable, give courage to all who are homeless. Christ, for whom the angels give the song of the kingdom to all who weep. Christ, worshipped by the shepherds, give peace on earth to all who are oppressed. Christ, whose radiance filled a lowly manger, Give the glory of your resurrection to all who rest in you. Christ, before whom the wise men knelt, give humility and wisdom to all who govern. Jesus, Saviour, Child of Mary, you know us and love us. You share our lives and hear our prayer. Glory to you for ever and ever. Amen. So we join together in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. 
Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. And now may the joy of the angels, the eagerness of the shepherds, the perseverance of the wise men, and the obedience of Joseph and Mary, and the peace of the Christ child, may they all be yours this Christmas. And the blessing of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit be upon you this day and always. Amen. Amen. 